Mr. Vegas is here, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Hot 97 oh, Morning yeah. Show. A legend in the game. What a... Mr. Vegas, seriously, how long you been around reggae music? On the scene? Um, creating since, hits. How since long? 97. When, 1997. Um, Heads High came out. Um, since what came out? Heads High. That was your first record? That was my first record. That's the first record. First that, big yeah, blow up record. Yeah, that took me um, from Jamaica to the rest of the world. Right. The first record was one piece of the air. That's playground. your first record? On the playground with him. My first record that people know is Mr. Vegas. Right. For. What was your name before that? Um, I had so many names growing Mr. up. Mr. Reno? They, they call me Sprangy. <laughs> they call me Scary because I have a here. I have so many names growing up, man. Then it was Mr. Vegas that got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so now the last the last I heard from you uh, was right. last year when you was going right. through personal problems. Right, right, right. Broke right. you broke down with the family and started right. crying. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Where, where's that where are you at in that whole thing with the ex and the whole catching the a cheat? Yeah, it was I'm, a mess. I haven't seen my daughter um since um like Miss Two birthday and stuff like that. You haven't day. seen her at all? No, because I know that was gonna happen. That was what that was like sad about the whole situation. Because oh, wow. as I told you like the whole situation how it was set up for that to happen, you know? Yeah. It's like the rights was taken away from me, like mm. unknowingly, basically, like a kid. You know, when I went on tour, the, the kid name was put in another man, another man name and oh, stuff wow. like that. So it was just like, I just knew what was gonna happen because I, I could just- Disrespect. Yeah, but you know, she's growing and I guess, you know, she's gonna know who her dad is at some point. You'll you know? be there waiting when you get an opportunity yeah, man, to yeah, connect. Man, yeah, man. It's just not good when you miss the birthdays and stuff like that because you just want to like, I had like a big connection with her, you know, and um, I just have to put, you know, the focus on, you know, working hard and make sure that when she, when we reunite, you know, she'll be good. Is you your know? only daughter? No, no. I have another daughter, Taylor mm. You know, she's like, you know, my little princess too. So as a father, um, and mm. I'm adjusting to the idea of having a little girl and, you know, dealing with the oh, mother. You're going, you're going to get a girl, right? Yeah, I'm having a girl. Right. Um, do you, when things play out like the way they're playing out in your personal life, right. what responsibility do you take for the scenario you're in right now? Because you were on tour, right. you and the mother were at odds, and while right. you're away, she goes and makes this brash decision. Right. And you find tapes with her in the house with another I mean it was a mess right 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 what responsibility though do you take in that or was it I mean did you do anything to make her act this way no I just think people just people just do things sometimes man and and, and you know like those crazy things you know I don't know the, the reason for people rational thinking sometimes mm. you know I can't think for somebody else I, I just know when it comes down to like respecting you know a certain situation I have high respect for you know people you know in like you know taking people in people's house and stuff like that, you know, just like that's certain things off the Cross the line, man. Yeah, and like, you know, you know, like messing messing around in front of the baby and stuff like that. That was like too much for me at that point. But however, I, you know, that's been an old situation and I'm just happy the way I dealt with it. I, I think when I came here yeah, and I and I got to kind of cleanse. You know, yeah, vent a little bit and well, it, let it out had that just vibe, happened you know? too. Yeah. That was that was you know, people might look back at it and be like, yo, he's a he's a wuss to be like nah, you know, man. you know, like like you know like tearing up and stuff like nah, that. Nah, you that's grown man you know? shit, man. You know but I've looked at situation where people don't even get that opportunity. Some people is in jail, some people you know end up doing crazy stuff, you know. And I'm just happy the way how I dealt with it. Because now I'm good. I'm making music. I'm still touring, taking care of my other kids. I would mm -hmm. be like selfish to like do something crazy and leave the other kids hanging, you know. Yeah, because you do have other children, and then right, right. then you they don't have their father. I would, I would have let down so many people. You know, yeah. now I can come and we can sit and we can do an interview now. Yeah, you know, and and we can laugh about what happened. Well, you know, with my friends I and, don't know and make a mockery of it. You well, see what I'm we don't want to laugh. No, I do. I laugh at it. I, I I I come on. I, I look back at the situation, and if you don't laugh, you know, you're gonna be stuck in that dark place forever. Okay. You know, because I just think it's funny <laughs> that people could like do that and think it's okay. You know. You well, know, Sife, so. you know, Sife, you're the king of laughter instead of crying. You go to therapy and then you do comedy. That's your therapy, though. Absolutely. No, that's the best way, though. I think making a, a comic of it. You know, like I, I, agree. I, I did a song and, and, and just was like cloning my own self. You know, and so what are you going to laugh at me about? Because I'm already laughing at myself mm. for the whole vibe. The thing that is not a laughing thing, though, is just my daughter that because she's in the middle of it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And certain things that I would have done, like, you know, release the video and stuff like that. Let people see what really happened. You know, I'd rather for someone to say I'm a wuss than to release the video to see 
my daughter in the presence of that. You see what I'm saying? And then I, later I, on, your daughter right, sees that video. Right, and, right, right, right. And that so, is her mother know, still. That's right, still so her mother. Even, even the pictures that were leaked and stuff like that, you know, um, you know, it was just like done a certain way where it doesn't, you know, come back and haunt my daughter a certain way still. Because she's growing up and she's, you know, she's a girl at, at, at that too. So, you know, you don't want her to be like going to school and stuff like that and people making a mockery of her. You're hearing a grown man, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vegas, he's a father. It's the Vegas, the father. <laughs> what uh, what's your feelings on this whole vibes cartel verdict in Jamaica? Have you been in Jamaica? Yeah, man, I was there when the verdict was read. Um, it's it's mixed reaction, you know, because at the end of the day, if 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 someone did lose their life, you know, you want to respect the family for that. Yeah. Not because vibes cartel is who we love and respect as a great artist, but you have family too, and you have brothers too, and you have. Yeah, you know, you see what yeah. I'm saying, and you have friends. It's a it's a no win. Right, it's a no win situation, and yeah. you have to understand two mothers. You know, it's grieving. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Vibes Carter, mother, you know, she 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 don't want her son to be in jail because maybe he's the breadwinner and stuff like that for mm. the family. You know, and then someone has lose their son. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So people have to be respectful. You know, I hear people say some things sometimes, like the, the, the kid that lost his life, if that really happened, it's like nothing, like it's a, you know, like not a person. Yeah. You know, you have to respect that B. You have to respect Yeah, the focus goes on yeah, their man, favorite have, artist, Vibes you to, Cartel. You have but to respect that B. You have to respect that B. Even even I, I see like even Buster came to Jamaica and people were like, you know, like it's a whole was a whole movement and stuff like that. And it was like we have to be very careful here, the message that we send. Because we still don't want criminals to think that they can do stuff and get away right. with it. You see what I'm saying? I don't want somebody to hurt my family and think and, and then because you're a superstar. Famous superstar, you're gonna, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I have to respect that B. And I have to respect the justice system. If the jury said you're guilty, you know, who am I to go say, demonstrate in the streets and say, yo, free cartel, blah, 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 blah. I have to respect we, the system. I think we, we live in a time, and I, I don't even know if this is new, it's been around for a while, where the loss of life in a murder situation, right? Um, I don't know all the particulars of how this came about or why it came about, but to your point, somebody died and someone else is going to jail for a long time. So that's Trust two me, losses. It's, two. It's, it's a knowing situation because we cannot deny the genius that's vibes but we, we live it Right, but we live in a time where the person who's dead has it's less like secondary, value. It's like secondary, you see what I'm saying? It's, mm -hmm. like, it's like an afterthought, you see what I'm saying? And that, that, is, what, that is what is sad. It's like an afterthought because you have to think about it. Am I, am I saying free cartel and don't care about the yeah. person that lost their life? You see what I'm saying? So true. You, know, you have to be very true. You have to be very careful. Be you have to be very cartel is a genius, even though he does not make those big crossover records. But he, nah, you know, but he his, created he's that official, fan base. Yeah. He, he, he's a, he was a movement, and I wish, he, I wish he wasn't involved. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I wish he wasn't involved. I wish some situation. You Other just people went to jail too. Other yeah, people were convicted. Like, Four other kids, it's like four of them, and there's like five of them were on trial. Four got um, guilty verdicts. There's even more lives lost. One got off, you know we saying? only know about Cartel. We no, only know his name. There's another artist too, and it's Sean Storm. Mm. You know, that's Cartel artist. You know, but it is what it is, man. I, you know, I cannot elaborate, you know, enough on just respect life on a whole. You see what I'm saying? You have to respect that B. You know, um, Vibes Cartel's music did have its like street cult following, right? You know what right, I mean, right. and you know it is, um, you know, even like Buju's behind bars, and you know a lot of these artists that we just love so much, we don't get to hear from them. We right. gotta, you know, right. and we don't. I don't know how much time is Cartel gone forever. Like I don't know. Buju's in another situation. Buju was just in the wrong place again. You're right. You see what I'm saying? Buju should not have. But Buju might the get out soon. I'm hearing that. Buju, um. I, don't, I, didn't hear I think he's doing his appeal and stuff like that, and some oh, of the okay. appeal has been exhausted and stuff like that. But you know, it's just artists just have to be artists, man. This, this is like a learning, you know, process. You see what I'm saying? And this is how like, did you stay out of trouble? Because I'm sure when you started coming up in the right. game and being in the clubs and things like that, you, I'm sure things as, you've been as, around some scenarios. As an artist, people is always gonna want to be down. People want to come around because you was gonna see a way where okay, I can go around Vegas and I can eat a food or make some bread, you see what I'm saying? Meet some girls, get some Whatever boom, boom. it is, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so people is gonna come around. So it's what you have around you. I've been working with you now, what, 10 years straight? Yeah. At the, at the reggae, reggae show. Tip. It's just what you have around you. It's Mr. What Vegas you... shows up backstage at the door with three people. Right. Listen, Him, if, if it was up a to driver. Me, if, if, if it was up to me, I would have been there alone. Because I strongly believe that 
I'm just like an artist. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just easy going be because when you go out there on that stage, that 50 people that came with you, th that's not them the people came to see. The people came to see you, that old entourage of people think that you have to have this entourage to be, to, for people to say you're famous or whatever, man. And this, I don't do that. What about me. like, what about people who like, those, some people in the hood might not have an opportunity, but to be your barber on the road or driver or or some kind of job you give them, like, well, it's, well, it's well let them do factor. that. Let them do that because if you take them around you, whatever they see around you, that is what they're gonna want to do. So if you're dealing with badness, mm -hmm. when it comes around, if you're dealing with gangster stuff, they're gonna be done with the gangster stuff, and that is gonna get you in problems right there. Because oh, somebody this Hebrew. Yo, that boy did this your Ebu. Let me done him for you. Gas me up. Yeah. And then they gassed yeah, so up. I and then somebody gets their wig you split. You have to be careful of that because you're going to have people around you who care for you so much when somebody yeah. says something That's about true. You. That's a good point. They're going to be like, yo. Because it's never... Even without you even saying to go down Vegas, just the fact that you're in Vegas is beefing. Somebody around you want to be cool. Yeah. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Make a name for yo, themselves. Yo, Ebu, you know what I'm saying? Done the boy for you. Yeah. So you have to be careful mm. of that be. You know who I mean, I that's why we always tell Sife don't get gas, because Sife rolls with goons. You know who I respect? You know Sife, don't get gas, B. <laughs> I don't you know who no I, goons. You know, you know who I really respect? As, as a gangster DJ that, mm. that, 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 that controls that, 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 that energy around him, Bounty Killer. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard a dude say, yo, the Bounty Killer make the man, they beat me up. Or Bounty Killer make the man, they do me something. It's always like, yo, yo, I'm team, man. Love the man, 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 man. It's always that. It's always check <laughs> Cross. Them in. Yes, yeah, always hungry. It's always, because people miserable. Wanna, people would love to defend Bounty Killer if you say something course, about Bounty Killer. General. But he's like, yo, yo, I'm team man. Well, here's the thing: you already know Bounty Killer's upset. Cross. <laughs> yeah. He's already upset. It doesn't take a lot yeah, for him to go the out. next step. Yeah, but there's, there's 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 original rude boys that go around Bounty Killer. Yeah. But they keep in check. Right. Because he he understand that yo, if you hurt somebody. They're gonna come looking for me too. And my name is gonna be mixed up in that too. So you check them from early. He's Cross. like, yeah, man. He's like, yo, I'm here, man. <laughs> Mr. Vegas is here with us. And, I, uh, I don't wanna talk gangster stuff with Mr. Vegas because this guy's performance is maybe one of the most entertaining. He rocks out. Well, he sounds just like his record. His, <laughs> he don't get on stage sounding like a disaster. No, no not at all. You get, right. Your energy's up. Well, well, that's what the people are there for. You see what I'm saying? And, and I came from the era where producer would not have recorded you with the, with the Pro Tools and fix up your voice. I came from the old school with you had to deliver. Steely and Cleavy and Danny mm, Brown who made Heads Eye. And, it. You see what I'm saying? You, you, those producers that build those no, no, no record and those Shabba Rankin records, I came through that. I was like, you know, one of the last set of artists that went through that old 24 track where you have to sing the song Without reading off a paper, or without I mean, getting fixed you're getting up. Getting in the studio, up. Right? He's getting me hyped up. <laughs> He's getting me hyped up. He's getting me hyped right true. now, B. Because I, yo, I take dog shits on a lot of artists nowadays. So, so and they mad at me because I, they don't right. put in the work. Right. They don't learn the music. They don't learn right. and, and craft their skill. And then they get in the studio because there's all these cheat codes now. You know what I'm saying? Right, you right, go, right. You, cheat could, codes. you could get, you know, buy a little <laughs> laptop at the Apple store, throw a little auto tune on your voice, right. program a little something, and you think you're an artist. Uh, or you can, you can record a line and then you go back and do another line nah, and do another babe, line. Nah, yeah. So when sorry. you get on the stage now, it's all choppy. You don't know how to, yeah. So, so you do the whole song. I do the whole Perform song. straight. Heads eye, one vocal. You see what I'm saying? Sucky ducky, one vocal. I am blessed, one vocal. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Gal, it's just the one The whole vocal. song? Yeah. Hook, hot, everything? Ev every, you might add a little ad lib here and there. Yeah. You know, to, Maybe go back to and lay the background. If, if, if you have to like put a ton load of harmonies and voice on that track, it's like something is wrong from the get-go. It's like you're trying to create Hide something some. you see what i'm saying yeah so I, I just believe in that you know when i'm recording like i'm recording with um cleavy from steel and cleavy who made no 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 and the shabba ranking thing and those producers are just like when they take one vocal with you it's just good it's mm. if it's, it, it's up to you if you want to add something to it mm. you see what i'm saying so so that is where i came i come from how do we get it back how do we like because you don't hear from the kelly brothers and you don't hear some of these these cats that was making those those rhythms that we loved and those songs that we loved, they're not putting out music and it feels like some of the young cats coming up ain't, it just, feels like just, they're not making the right record. Just now I was listening to the radio and I heard Happy, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like- Pharrell Happy. Yeah. So I was like, 
I like how radio sounds when I come here because it's not about one person. Mm. I, think in, I think we've lost the focus where we started focusing on one person to run the place. Yeah. One person to be the man. I want to be the man. So it's the, the, I think the focus is on, oh, he's going to be the savior for dancehall or he's going to be the king of the dancehall or whatever. It used to be like music. You know, Cypher Sound takes a Vegas, he takes a Sean Paul, That's right. he takes a Beanie Man, and he makes the show sounds good. You see what I'm saying? So we have to get back to that way. We stop looking at Diversity. one person. Yeah, one person to run the place. And get there are talents in Jamaica because talents don't go anywhere. Just like oh, here, we still can find a good Pharrell, a good Drake to, to make the radio sounds good. Mm -hmm. We have to be able to like get good producers to produce the good artists. And the new ones that's coming up get with good producers and then we'll be fine. Some producers I've noticed too, uh, a lot of these young cats coming up don't listen. Right. So some of the OGs don't want to work with these young yeah. cats because the young cats come in the studio like they know everything. It's, it's Do you not, think that that's it's, a it's part of the issue? It's not even don't listen. I remember it doesn't matter if you had a big record. When I had Head's Eye, I was still trying to voice or trying to go to the studio with um, Steely and Cleavy. And it wasn't about no ego or anything like that. Artists these days, as soon as the name pops, producers, like, they have no respect for, like, the, the history of the music or the history of the producer, who you are. It's like you have to go sit and wait on this artist to get back at you. Mm. Or you got to go run this artist. So the, the, the old G's ain't going to do that. Yeah. Hebrew ain't going like... But nah. they're not teaching the lessons, though. You see what I'm saying? Nah, it's like it's you're trying like to... Nah, but you know how I get. If you're a fucking idiot, I'm going to tell you to your face, fam, I don't fuck with you. I don't like how you move, it's and like I think you, you sound like, like It's like you've been putting a show together. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to be like... Calling this person to get to that person, yeah, then yeah, you try yeah. to get. It's like a whole. Nah, so it's yeah. the same thing with the producers. Danny Brownie, who did Red Rat, Head Zai, all those vibes. He's not gonna go sit there and run behind a little artist name that is just calling. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's you as an artist. You have to realize where you are and where you wanna go. There you go, Mr. Vegas, ladies and gentlemen.